Hey guys, we're glad you're back watching another video of ours. Um, you'll enjoy this week's video. Um, yeah, stay tuned to watch what we do all week because we haven't filmed a video in a week. So, you guys are going to be excited. Morning. Evening. No, it's still morning. We're going to pick up Paula. She's been gone for a week. So we decided that we were going to head out early and we are going to stop in Hendersonville, North Carolina and look around there. We haven't been there in a long time. But look at these roads. Actually, look at those. That's what we're contending with right now. It's really pretty up here. Waze is great most of the time. Sometimes it takes us, yeah, you missed. It part. didn't tell me to turn. But now it's, okay, now it's not telling you to turn. Of course, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We could be losing a signal. I can't get any kind of service out here. But we're supposed to be heading into Hendersonville and I have no clue what we're doing. It didn't tell you to turn, unless it's because I'm videoing, I guess. We're in Hendersonville, North Carolina. This guy right over here got our parking spot. We were waiting to turn left to get it. So he turned right and got it right in front of us. Those are pretty. <laughs> long time since we've been here and it's changed I think since we've been here <sighs> all right you see anything clothing requirements. interesting <laughs> I've never seen that before the name of it shine well this is pretty I'm gonna be like Adam the Woo. Look at this mural. Uh oh, yeah, I need to cross the street. Watch, don't let me get hit. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Look at that sign. Huh? Cool. Oh my gosh. I love this. Fairy garden in a chair. It's hard to tell. So cool! I love this. This chair is covered with moss. Oh my goodness! We decided that we were going to eat at this place called the Dugout, and I absolutely love how they've done the menu. They have the kickoff. 
field of greens, which are salads, courtside sandwiches, game time, in the dugout, and all-star entrees. All right, we'll look at the menu when we'll decide. On that. This place has all sorts of sports memorabilia on the wall. Okay, single carry. Okay, I sound dumb. Who is that? Michael Singletary. Yeah. That looks like a football jersey. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, then you've got all these things. And then Allen, of course, I sound. And then, and then the Panther back there. Paula and I are at the Georgia Welcome Center, not too far, for, actually, from our own house. Yeah. So we're going in here to see if we can find some information on places that we want to go throughout Georgia uh, that we've never been. The place we live. This is where we live. We live here our whole life. Oh. Georgia's a big state. Huge. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. All right. So where do we want to look? This is Georgia. So it's not the whole state of Georgia. That's right. That's the little part where we live. No. <coughs> nope. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because this is where Cabbage Patch originated. Georgia? Yes. Oh, you did you not know that. No. Right there, Babyland General Hospital. See? Cleveland, Georgia. <clears throat> we never took you guys because... You guys never showed any interest in them? Are cute, except for that one. What's going on with our nose? They all look like that. Look at their noses. Mm. That one is the only one that has a nose like that. Okay, I remember Christy had one, I think maybe more than one when she was younger. Look at this savage. Look at her. She has her little hook hooked to her hat. <laughs> I see that. Look at that little savage. Okay, so she's got her fishing pole hooked to her hat. No wonder she looks sad. I don't blame her. She was so nice. I need to get buckled. Yes, please do. She was so nice and she helped us a lot. And like, I guess she, I mean, some places, if you go to like a welcome center in like a different state, some places don't treat you that nice because if you're not from that state, then they don't really treat you the same. But okay, so if you're ever this one, traveling south on 85 from South Carolina, Make sure you stop in at the Georgia Welcome Center. Yeah. They were extremely nice. They were Very really nice. Too. Like, really, really nice. Like, everyone who worked there, like, wanted to know if we were okay, we were doing good, we wanted to know anything. And went out of their way to bring us stuff. I know. Um, but, um, what else? On? Oh, we found some places that we could possibly go to show you guys. Um, right? Yep. And also for, like, our entertainment as well. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, how many people really travel to the places that near where you live? Not I mean, many. Other than, I mean, here we are every week, you know, going to Anderson, going to Greenville in South Carolina, going to Athens, and that's it. And you, you, know, you guys see the same, the same places every <laughs> time. And, and usually with some vloggers, they usually go out of state and they don't really appreciate the state that they live in already. But with us, I'm, I just want to see, like, all the different stuff we have in Georgia because a lot of people underestimate Georgia in, like, so yeah, many Yeah, she ways. was telling us about a couple of places in Athens that I had never even heard of. Like a like a zoo that's, like, free? And Anybody heard of that There was a, a place, um, in, in actually a little town that I'd never heard of. I can't remember now. I'll have to look at it. But there's, like, a covered bridge and... Yeah. Things, so and also I'm I learned I learned that Cabbage Patch Kids apparently I can't believe she didn't know apparently that. was like born and raised in Georgia. I did not know that at all. I can't believe that. I didn't I didn't know that. But yeah, that was really helpful. And I'm assuming you're gonna show them what you got later on. No, we're gonna keep it a secret. Yeah. Right. But yeah, you guys I guess we could say, you know, stay stay tuned. We're probably going to go to some new places soon <coughs> for you guys. And, yeah. Although, next month starts up football. Friday nights, we'll be busy. Yeah. So. Oh, well. We'll we can see. still vlog. You're going to still vlog. Oh, though. yeah. We'll have, we'll have some. 
Um, you, every single Friday you're gonna vlog the football game. We'll have some football stuff and you know halftime show. A little bit of that. All that. <laughs> um, I want to talk to you guys about what I did in Tennessee. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if anyone didn't know, Mom didn't post a vlog last week because she was bored. We weren't bored. We just she just didn't have anyone at the house. Yeah, we, there was nobody. I was at home alone most of the time. And the reason why is because I was in Tennessee. Woo -woo. And then Kurt and Annie were both working. I was with my Aunt Linda, with her dogs. That was so fun. And I was editing my book, so I don't think you want to see 15 minutes of me editing my book. I'm going to tell right? Um, I don't think they do. No. <laughs> but, um, I had a lot. But, yeah. Also, when I came back, we played Cards Against Humanity last night. That was so fun. And was it won. Fun? Mom won with 16 cards. What does that say about mom? I don't know. According to Addie, it means I'm creative. Yeah. But like I you have, like a, that. you have a sense of humor that not everybody has, which but, is a good thing. But I'm beginning to wonder <laughs> if it's not that. Maybe I have a warped mind. Woo! Frightening, huh? That's very frightening because you're my mom and you gave birth to me. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I just want to say I missed talking to you guys last week, and the <coughs> vlog is back up this week, I'm assuming. Well, if you're listening and watching this, the vlog's up, goofy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boink. Anyway, back, I'm, I, well, it just came out of nowhere. I'm going to leave now. I have, I'm going to go swimming later. Um, yeah, so I have fun in Tennessee. That's all I wanted to say. Goodbye. Say bye, Mom. I was getting ready to talk to you a little bit about the things that we picked up today. So I got them all spread out here. But then I realized, poor kitty, she's about out of food. I gotta get her some food today at the store when I go. But um, like we said, the lady that worked there, her name was Peggy, she was excellent. If you ever get a chance, you know, heading south on 85 through South Carolina, Stop in there. She was great. There was another lady in there, too, that seemed very nice and very knowledgeable. We picked up some general guides. This one right here. That's Helen. If you've never done that, that's really fun. I don't think I'll do it again at my age. Huh. But anyway, this is just a general guide of Georgia. Paula was interested in Atlanta because she was interested in some of the concert venues and things like that. So we picked that up. We've... We've been to um, some of the state parks. We went to Amicalola Falls. They have a lodge there that was really nice. This one, I'm not sure exactly what this one is, but um, I'm going to flip through and we're going to find out. The funny thing is, we live in Hartwell, Georgia, and Franklin County, which is the home of Royston, is one county over. And look at this. We've never been to the Ty Cobb Museum. So that might be a destination that we might do sometime. So we got those, just some general guides right there. This one is a guide to the mountains in Georgia, which sometimes we'll just get in the car and head up to the mountains and hang out at one of the little towns up there just for the day on Saturday or Sunday afternoon or something. This one, I'm excited about this, except this one's summer, I'm going to have to get one for the fall because I've always wanted one place where I can look up festivals and things like that going on so I'll have to get a new one for the fall right here again we are one county over from Elbert County 
And one day, Kurt and I just got in the car and we just went over to the Georgia Guidestones. They're really interesting. Um, we'll probably go there sometime. It's really interesting. I think they've done some things on TV about it on the History Channel. And, and there's a lot of confusion about it. It's really interesting. But we'll head over there sometime too, maybe. Right here, not too far away. Drive's not too bad. We'll check out and see what's in there. Right here, Athens. Um, usually when we go to Athens, it's just to eat or shop. But there are lots of things from what I understand. Addie and her roommate, she met her future roommate, which is going to be her roommate in a little over a month. She met her there and they found something to do um, that was free. So it might be interesting. This here is another zoo. I think it's in Cleveland, Georgia. I might have to check that out sometime. And as I drive 85, I always see this and I have no clue what it is. So I picked up some information about this. We may have to check that out sometime. And I picked this one up for Kurt. This one looks really interesting. It is the um, first weekend in October. The only thing is that's our kids' fall break. And we do have a trip to Disney planned, but I'm not sure if we're going to follow through with it because of everything else that we've had to do this year that has cost us bunches of money. So we may or we may not go. Um, but this looks interesting. So that's up at Tacoa, which is, um, you know, 35, 45 minute drive or something. Here's a walking guide to Tacoa. They have some good antique stores if you like to go to antique stores. This one right here is interesting because I asked Paula, we have been to the Little White House with the girls. Addie had to do a report or something. And we went to the Little White House and things like that because my hometown and my family is not very far from there. So we were able to visit for a weekend and then stop by here on our way home and things like that. It was funny because she remembered a bunch of things that she saw. And that was years ago. I think Addie may have been in elementary school, fifth grade maybe. So that was a while back. Um, I used to live in Columbus, lived there for 12 years. But I was talking to the lady that was there. And, of course, things change all the time. I hadn't been there, like I said, 20 years. So I picked one of these up. I thought I'd go through it and see what they have. This, is, this weekend, we're going to be going to Statesboro. Annie's got her orientation Monday and Tuesday next week at Georgia Southern. So I got this. I thought, I didn't know if Kurt and I might have some time to explore. So I just picked up some things there. This one um, about wildlife. She said that there's some, some things to do there. Wildlife sanctuary or something. Um, right here. Whole little booklet. Restaurants and some things like that. And then the Statesboro Inn. We'll have to check that out. But, really interesting. So, we'll let you guys know what we're going to be doing. And we may do a whole series on places to visit. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a like and subscribe down below. We really love the support you guys have been giving us um, lately. Mom works so hard on the videos and I'm very, very proud of her. Um, yeah, so, thank you guys. See you next week. And, for now... We're keeping you on your toes.